Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna see like how to structure our dbt project and we'll see like how to do some customization with dbt. So let's get started. Okay, so previously we have seen that we have some sources and we have some models we have created. But if I just show you like how it creates in Snowflake. So if you see that in Snowflake, it is creating under model schema and you have a view that is getting created. Okay. So you might not want that, right? Like you, you suppose you want to create whatever you are doing transformation. You want to create a new schema for that. And um, you don't want to have that in a public. This is creating a public because this is how your uh, TBT profile is created. You have you are pointing to public schema by default. So now you want to have like different schemas for different models. So how to do that? Uh, there are different ways to achieve this. One of the ways is so you go to your SQL file and if you remember we talked about that we can have Jinja templating here. So you can have like config function and what you define you define the materialization for that this particular model and while your data should go okay so you provide the schema as staging so let's run this so this is the usual process dbt run okay now it's it's able to create your table so if you see if what your table is getting created in public staging let's verify that in snowflake so you go back to snowflake so if you see that it is creating a staging schema, but it's creating under uh, DVT tutorial, but it is like prefix with public underscore. So this is a default behavior of DBT because the by default schema is public. So whatever custom schema that you are giving, it will be prefixed by that uh, default schema, right? But this is something that you wouldn't want right like you want to create different schema you don't want to prefix with your something with public how to fix it and just for a pointer that if the schema exists in your databases the tables or views will be created there if the schema does not exist it will create the schema to do this we have some macros we can use so we haven't talked about macros but that's a very powerful feature of dbt whenever you want to customize something or you want to do a lot of dynamic uh, way of writing modeling so all those things you can do it yeah, dbt macros we we are going to talk about the dbt macro in details in our upcoming videos but let me show you one dbt ma macros that you want to use to fix this so this is this is one macro though that we want to use so i'll explain you what it does so you go back to your id so you have a macro section here okay the macros i think i have deleted the macros but let's create a directory called as macros uh, let me see if this is the correct directory so you go back to your dbt project and you see that okay macro path is macros that's why so you create a file like uh, generate custom schema dot sql and you just paste it here so just just to explain what this macro is doing so it is saying that if you if you are not providing any custom schema then the default schema will take place and if you are place giving some custom schema it will be prefixed with default schema then your custom schema will come but we do not want this to just customize this you can just remove this okay so we'll explain don't worry we'll explain how this macros like in details what are the different things but for just for this use case just understand this that we can create this custom schema that takes care of it so let's run this project again now you see that your project is getting created under schema as staging so i'll go back to this let's see this tutorial and you see your staging is created then the tables are created under this okay so all this confusion so this is you have to just write it once you don't have to give like dot sql file for every model that you're creating so this macros will come for will come into work for every models that you are writing 
so let's see like uh, if you see that this config you have to write for every model that you are writing because every model you want to customize is you might want like materialization as a table or view or schema as staging or some other state so this is a very repetitive code that you have to write for all the models to avoid it we'll restructure our code in a way and we'll see like how we can remove this for any project like any data transform project there are like different stages that comes into picture like like uh, staging you have intermediate stage you have mart stage where you are creating the data marts or you can talk about like this is like finished good stage you can do restructuring your project in that way okay so let me show like what i'll do is like under models i'll create different stages so first could be staging other will be maybe intermediate intermediate and another will be suppose you have the marks first you do this now what you do is like so there are like few convention that you can use to whenever you're creating a modeling file so let me uh, so what i'll do is i'll just copy this file here but i'll just rename it with stg so what it defines is it defines the stage and it defines like what's the model or sources that you have right so i'll do the same for model details so i'll just prefix this with stage and this two things you don't need it so you can just delete this so now you see that you have staging here the employee details and you have a source so let me remove this because i do not want to do it here i want to customize this in a different way now to customize it you go to project to customize this what we are going to do is so inside the models we're gonna paste something let me just paste give you like what we were trying to do so what we are saying is any any models of comes under staging directory so this is the staging directory i want to materialize every models as a view and all the schema should go means all the table should go under staging schema similarly for intermediate as well as marts so if i marts you see that i i'm creating schema as marts but the materialization as a table okay so let me run this project now now if we see that my models are getting created under staging and the table name is staging employee details because that's a that's a table name that we have provided here same can be verified in snowflake so go to staging go to staging you'll see that you have a view that is staging employee details if you see just with this we are able to customize all our models so you don't have to write all this materialization and schema in the in the sql file also so you just write any number of models under this particular folders and everything will be taken care by dbt project.yaml so these are not a very hard tools that you have to create a project structure in this way but these are some of the recommendation that dbt has so if you want to see the documentation for it so if you see that uh, how we structure a project so this is the article like best practices that dbt provides if you just scroll down it will show you like similarly how we created we have like different stages and in different stages also you can do nesting if you see that they have a nesting as japanese shop and they have another nesting as strip stripe okay so you can you can do all those things so i really recommend you to go through this article our article to understand this in much more details you can see like why they are giving like staging intermediate marks and they have explained or what are the significance of having different stages so with this i think uh, this is the end of today's video i'll see you in the next video thank you